Kellington's one of them that'll give you problems. Lavelle Martinez, we just saw her, and then Kate Reeves, three fifth-year seniors in their starting lineup. A little younger, Lapolo, the freshman running the point with Jumpin' Jones. Erie Offen, just a sophomore, and Cameron Brain. One lost on the regular season. But again, that will change here today. Tip is up, and we are underway. Glad you could be with us. An excellent crowd here at Maples Pavilion. Watching this top 25 matchup and trying the back door, but the turnover very often just a little off the mark. We think so much about Arizona in transition. They are really developing to be a very, very good half-court offensive team as well. And this is an important one for them, Mary. Not an easy road trip. Three games also in five days in this third game right here against the number two team in the nation. But, boy, you, you pick up a win here. It's a big deal. Absolutely. It just propels you nationally into the conversation. They're ranked number 18 in the nation. They've got a strong net ranking and second effort. Rebounding important at both ends. And, wow, a couple of turnovers now for Stanford taking away chances. Arizona will be in a great position in the fourth quarter. This team plays so much like their head coach did back in the day, Adia Barnes. They forced 21 turnovers per game. And what did Tar Vanderveer say? We have to take care of the ball. That was the very first thing. LaVille off the screen. Pretty. Ellington up on Joe oh, and the lofty pass, the anticipation, Martinez, and good job to wait. Guarded by Lauren Fields, a senior transfer from Oklahoma State. Trap comes. Skip, far corner jump, knows what she's supposed to do. Okay, that's the gamble. With the positives of having depth, and you see 13 and white, Helena Puello on for Arizona. She is so good. There's that shot. Doesn't connect. Maya Naji also in 34 in navy blue for the Wildcats. Up high guarding Brink. And Brink read it. The defense not with her. The and one. Naji had just gotten up maybe one half step a little too high. And Brink the quickness to make her way down and get the three-point play. I and mean, you think about Rhea Marshall. is sensational this weekend yeah. for USC. As Mary Martinez can really understand where balls are coming off and how to go get and rip rebounds. And she's fourth in the conference in rebounds per game, averaging right around 10. LaVille using the screen, rolls that one in. A three ball for her. Her improvement is for real. She has just improved as a three-point shooter so much. It was interesting talking with Adia Barnes about her game. So I, that's my job as a coach, right? I want to expand her game as the Cardinal work it inside area often with the hoop. And nobody creates in small spaces as well as Haley Jones. Give her the assist. Ellington looking one way, tries to go the other, can't use the backboard there. I'm surprised she didn't lean into Haley a little bit more, try to get that third foul. Yeah, she's physical enough to do it as Jones running the court. Lapolo finds her. World of difference for Stanford when you take care of the basketball and you get shots at the bucket. And they take the lead. They're first to the ball game. They were down 6 nothing to start it. Martinez, baseline, banks it up hard, good. One of the and one, but she'll take the bucket instead. I know folks out west haven't seen a lot of us. Mary Martinez, who went to West Virginia before transferring, went out. I mean, what a backdoor pass. <laughs> Navarre, great communication. The freshman from Apex, North Carolina, and Haley Jones, founder. Yeah, the maestro. Three assists already. Crossover. Thought about it. That's Lauren Fields. There's Pueyo. Love her game off the bench. Pellington just not getting any space from Jones. Pueyo pulls it up. Left baseline. Can't stick it. Polo, skip across. Hey, you watch the Stanford team. Two freshmen and a sophomore on the floor. Yeah. Yeah, they're they're young. I, it was it was surprising to me to kind of realize how young they are as Jones gets herself into the lane. Wow, and Mary, how how important is that to have those young players be able to practice and play against players like the All Americans for Stanford, Ellington. And now trying to seal her off. She knew she had the size advantage. There's help D, the skip across, and jump. Gets another one. That quick release, so hard to stop. And a jump. 
Two threes already in this first half with a minute left in this first quarter. Pretty quick pace. Both of these teams averaging over 80 points a game. And LaVille, she's feeling it. She is always feeling it. <laughs> Love the game of Jade LaVille. All Pac-12 member last year. Was all Mountain West. You mentioned she played at Boise State a couple of seasons. Probably was an NFL player and she tries to help with the defense there. Going to get whistled with the personal. Yeah, her game's really starting to come on. How about Haley Jones already in this game? Nine minutes, four points, five rebounds, four assists. We're on triple-double alert early. <laughs> yep. She's looking and doing everything. And believe me, ready to check in. Th this depth for Tara Vanderveer, she talked about it. You know, if you're not playing D, if you're, you're not getting back, I got players that can come in and do it. It's Kate Reese up and under. Good decision there. Really experience shows the value of the pivot foot. Four points for Kate Reese. Fifth year senior. Chose to come back to play for the Wildcats. And it's Gilbert out guarding Lapolo. Two sensational freshmen. <laughs> there is some really good young talent in the Pac-12. Brink back on. LaVille hands up. Tries to stop her and does, and that will do it for the first quarter with Gilbert and Haley Jones. Reese, Reese really <laughs> pushing, trying to push. Shot clock to five. Lapolo's got to take it. Round it out. Brink cleaning it up or trying to. Bellini, third chance, too many. Second personal on Kate Reese, so she'll have a seat. And that one falls in for Fran Belibi. So two fouls with eight and a half remaining in this second quarter. It's Stanford's, Stanford's bench and depth at the post position is just yeah. overwhelming. Really remarkable. One for two for Fran Belibi. Can't get that second one. Martinez back in. She's too quick for herself, Mayor. Wanting to make something happen. Put that ball down first. I love her game, though. Can't say enough good things about her All-Big 12 second-teamer last year from West Virginia. And Adia Barnes said loves so many things about her, uh, but her transition into the, the Pac-12 has been really solid coming from such a good program. Yeah, she was well-coached at West Virginia. Again, another lob attempt. And help D coming over. Gilbert, get your hands on it. Jump ball. It goes the other way. <laughs> if you feel like it's a mismatch, you feel like you can get into Haley Jones, but for the third, third time in this game... Cueo says, go to another option. So Adia Barnes talking to Vinny Luna. They thought it was a jump ball, and instead the foul call. They'll make a change to that one. And 13 foul on the Wildcats. Stanford, a solid free throw shooting team. Don't want to put them there too soon. That's for sure. Apollo. Skip across. Jones, left corner. Just short for Levy. Weak side glass. Oh. That spigot's been turned off. Stanford taking care of the basketball, and Arizona, as a result, having trouble scoring points. Yeah, they've made adjustments. Cueo in the lane. Stays with it. Haley Jones didn't quite get her body on her, but the shot no good. Break for Stanford. Jones, nobody stopping her. Now a freshman coming off the bench for Stanford, playing behind some of the most talented posts in the country. Yeah, she is getting some quality minutes as of late. It's hard to find minutes, though, for everyone. Jones gets that one. But what that translates to, when you do get on the floor, you want to make your minutes count. High pick and roll and working it inside. Najee got the shot off. It almost dropped in. Love's, life is tough enough when you're playing Stanford. Good steal by Martinez. Wow. Her anticipation, just that hand out, Mary, but to keep it in play... This is a giant lineup on the floor for Stanford. <laughs> it sure is. Brink testing the length of the defense. Shot no good. Betts tries to save it, but can't. Goes the other direction. Najee gets some space. I like her game. She's got so much potential. Not afraid to shoot it. Skip across jump. She's not afraid to shoot it. <laughs> Just born to shoot. Senior from Spain. 
National team experience. She's voted captain this year as oh, the and one for Madison Connor driving in. We wish the best to the Ledger Walker family. And we certainly do, and we hope to see her back. That That is a tough loss for the Cougs. As the first free throw attempt by Arizona of this half, and they get it to go back within seven. Yeah, they average 14 made free throws a game, so not getting there causes a problem. Kiki Iriafin back on the floor. Practical, practical inside as well. We've got some mismatches working. Pueyo up high and a little too much contact on Lapolo. And here is Lapolo. Tara really impressed with her play so far. She has been a revelation. I don't think it just shows you, you don't have to be like the number one through ten point guard coming yep. out of high school to really impact a program. Tara told us we really miss her aggressiveness. That's something that when you graduate players like the Hull sisters and Anna, you know, Anna Wilson, you you lose some aggressive play. Who steps into those roles? And we were just talking about Lapolo. She's been running the point significantly. That was a question mark coming into this season for the Cardinal. Who would run the point most of the time as Brink? The and one. You swing it. They spread the floor so well. She just You can see how she's yeah. leaning. <laughs> Trying to catch Brink on that drive. Three-point play, so it stays with the Wildcats. 13 on the shot clock. One of our keys was for Cameron Brink, for Arizona to force her to the bench with some foul trouble. She doesn't have one foul. Yep. She's playing solid. And we talked to Tara about the one personal foul in the Arizona State game. She said, I hope she... If she continues that as Pellington finally. A player that Tara talked about at the beginning of the year that you know, those are little things. They don't show up on a stat sheet. Jones, one for two. Erie often. That stands out in the stat sheet. The O board conversion. But Jones, first half, nine points, seven rebounds, four assists. Cardinal have gotten to the line. They're 9 for 11. Just one attempt by Arizona from the stripe as Reese tries to go left. Can't get it. Arizona dangerous in this situation. They do a great job of anticipating going get steals. Into Brink. Keeps oh. it up high. And the Wildcats get some momentum going into the break. That one well off by Fields. Clock to four. Brink, another chance behind the arc. Got her legs under that one, but can't get it to drop. She's had a struggle outside, but not anywhere else. Got a box out. They definitely teach it. There's no doubt about it, Mary. I, I believe her. I Let's see if they can too. do We'll see if they can do it here. Third it's quarter underway. It's something Adia Barnes knew how to do as a college player <laughs> and a pro. Boy, she sure did. Talk about playing a bit undersized. She could post up, take it in, shoot it outside. And she was one tough defender and a jump. The look for a second. Second chance is another O board. Stanford continuing to crash the glass. Lapolo with a side spin three ball. And Coach Barnes talked about the spacing, needing that spacing. Long rebound, Martinez, another chance. And tried to attack, jump to the court, no whistle. And not enough spacing inside. The shot batted around, jump, going to push. Congestion and shot blockers. Haley Jones, nobody picking her up, just short as Martinez a little late. This is a high-scoring Arizona team. They scored seven points in the second quarter. Yeah. yeah, it says a lot about the defense that Stanford put out on them. And those O-boards taking away those scoring opportunities. Jones, how about the patience? Stanford just attacking. See if the Wildcats can get a bucket. Martinez using the Kate Reese screen, and they needed that one. That's quick turnaround. Not a lot of time to prep. Oh, fake one way, go the other. Eerie often with the finish. Boy, she's putting on a show. Gilbert. Crowd wanting to travel. They don't get it. Martinez in the high post. Oh, beautiful fake to get some room. Extra effort, the O board to the Wildcats. This match inside. And Martinez trying to take advantage, but help D by Brink getting back. And she turned right into Cameron Brink's help. Brink inside, and Martinez just couldn't get the hands up. Plays like a guard so often. 
There aren't a lot of players like her. Not happy with herself on that free throw. Had her birthday on Saturday. Yes, she did. The day of the Arizona State game. Big 2-1. This third quarter remaining. And Arizona has really had a tough time finding some points. Hesitation by Fields and Brink swats it. Very often running the floor. That block for Brink. Jones tries to get away from LaVille and does momentarily. The reverse shot, no good. Gilbert can heat up as well. High scoring freshman. Yeah, she averages seven points a game. She had a solid game at Cal a couple nights ago. And wow, Pueyo with a pretty finish. Well, we haven't talked much about the defense that Stanford is playing. This is a high-scoring Arizona team. They average 81 points a game. Are sitting at 26 in the third quarter. Mm -hmm. Averaging 81 a game. The Stanford defense holds their opponents to 57 a game. And, wow, they're right on track. She is everywhere. And she picked up those two personals early, really handled it. She had a couple of chances to let the frustrations get in the way, but they did not, as that one won't go. But Arizona just searching for answers offensively. And this is both free throws. Fran Belibi, oh board, another chance. And Belibi down. There's contact inside with Connor. And she took that experience and just has put together an amazing career here at Stanford. What was going through her mind, and, and she used that time away to really better her game and better understanding of her teammates and what they needed from her. Look at the three-point field goals. Arizona really struggling to, to find open ones. They average six makes a game. They've got one. The O boards. Shot clock starting to run down. Believe me. I pose, tries to draw the contact and does. Another one. And coaches, whenever we ask them for keys, they always say rebound, and you just kind of go, okay, yeah, anything else. But <laughs> rebounding is just so important because if you don't secure the ball defensively, you're not going to be on offense, and you're giving up second yeah. and third opportunities against a great offensive team. Yep. See if they can keep their spacing and find an open look. Pueyo, good look, uses the backboard pretty. Nice job finding an angle so you avoid the block by Brink. Yeah, Brink was right there and a good job to finish that one by Pueyo. She's got four points. Brink takes it to Najee. And a little bit of a late whistle. Influenced by her, by her presence inside defensively. Yeah, she is so good with help defense. Yep. Just her presence there in that wingspan. She forces teams to make adjustments. First free throw good. Free throws big plus for the Cardinal. They've gone there 21 times. Just one attempt by Arizona. Gets them both. Largest lead of the ball game for the Cardinal now. Up by 20. And there's a little mid-range oh, jumper Najee. good. Najee can hit that. She can step out and knock down the three as well. I like Najee's game in the high post. I think she's got a lot of potential in her first season. Getting a lot more opportunity this year with the injury to Lauren Ware, who is sitting out this season. Yeah. Now we get a steal. Can you go? So unfortunate. Connor looking ahead. Transition D. They've still got numbers if they can find it. And they do momentarily. Good. Ball fake by Billington. That's just old school, isn't it? The yep. old head fake. Get the defense up, and then you just wait till they come down. She had two bigs in front of her, and she got them up in the air. Break to jump, left corner, rattles it out. Super good. Superstars. Chatting with Ari McDonald, the addition director of recruiting for the Wildcats. I love that. Love seeing her the other night at Cal and All American. She's the player of the year in 21. Her family was driving up from the valley to say hi. I love that. She caused a lot of problems for Tar Vanderveer's teams over the years. But she's been really good. Jump all by herself. Money. 
Hannah Jump makes it look easy. We say this every time we do a Stanford game. Nobody has put up more shots in this gym, maybe, than Hannah Jump. Now fifth all time in three pointers made with 238 of them. And there's one right back at you on this squad as we track the O board numbers. Oh. 20 for Stanford. They are big and 16 second chance points for the Cardinal. So with under a minute left in the third quarter. Laville, the and one, taking it at Fran Bolivia. And boy, she got hit and she is down. Mm. Laville was leaning in and believe. And the free throw good for Laville. So the three point play for her, and she's the first Wildcat in double digits. She's got 10. And Chump will shoot the free throws for Stanford. That's her first free throw attempt on the game. They've shot 27 free throws, the Cardinal have, and she gets the second. <laughs> She's trying to get warmed up. She hadn't been there yet in this one. Kaylin Gilbert in the ball. Stanford ball on the sideline. Freshman top recruit in the nation. The number five recruit class. 2018 in this quarter. Stanford up two, but just not able to recover from that. The Wildcats Cardinal did in that second quarter. Seven points. And Mapolo happy to let the clock go. And they try a high-low as it was Brink trying to post up on Martinez, and that pass off the mark. So execution not happening on either end. We'll see if the Wildcats can get a little momentum right here. Pellington. Oh, Brink. Leading score for this team, a very well-balanced team. She averages 14. First one good. And can't get the second. Very often another rebound. Wave that one off. Reese is back out there into the high post. She'll take the jumper. No good. Another long board. Pueyo trying to work it inside and trying to be aggressive instead into the hands of Brink. And the shot blocking length of Stanford inside just continues to influence Arizona. Yeah, length at every spot. Very often. Oh, the feed by Brink. She was open, posted one way, comes back to the inside. And this is the time for Arizona. Can you make a push? Hesitation, Pellington, and she's tried to ball fake and do everything she could, but Brink read every bit of it. Great screen by Iriafen. That's the fourth personal on Martinez, so she's going to take a seat. Pellington's out now. Just them both. Stanford only shoot 59% yeah. from the free throw line. Yep, they've had a lot of chances, and they yes. have really taken advantage. Oh. Beautiful pass. Oh, what a fake. Haley can just do so many different things. Yeah, the versatility is so fun to watch. As Malini gets the and one. Are you going to hand off? No. Are you going to go? Yes. Ten points. Can't convert the three-point play. Wildcats trying to work it around, looking for more spacing. Cuello left wing. Pretty. What more can Pueyo do? Yep. Love her game. She's got eight points and six boards. They just need another one or two to go with her. Oh, speed high and low. Oh. Haley Jones, and she's got 16. Trying to draw contact and does. Can't get the three-point play. Jones gets a rebound. Fields, a senior from Shawnee, Oklahoma, transferred in this season to Arizona from Oklahoma State. Arizona has just been able to get it under 16. Prechtel can hit that. Polo gets a little bit closer. Mid-range jumper good. You can be that kind of team. You got to pick your poison sometimes. Is the shot just short as Connor curled around. Good pace from Lapolo just to come get that and let's go. Jones. A little hesitation. Believe me. Hands up, tips it around, keeps it alive, puts it in. And has 12 points and eight rebounds. That's a good ratio. Oh, high pick and roll. 
Drive by Connor, and it goes. Got some minutes, do something with him. Polo, a little hesitation, high off the glass. I think she saw Fran Belibi over there and put it up there to see if Fran would get it, and she did. Long three off the iron. And Arizona's going to try to push three on two. Connor left side, and she gets fouled. She'll go to the line. Sure, didn't she? Yeah, preseason. Yeah. Yep, I think it's going to be a good one. 28 games for her last year. Average five points a game. She gets both free throws. And then stay on the road after that. UCLA, USC the next weekend. So we're going to get some challenges on, on the road. What a group. Fran Levy now double-double, 14 points, 10 rebounds. That last bucket put LaVille in double digits, but just a bit too late. Jump. Got her legs under it. Just couldn't get the shot to go in LaVille. Cat's got numbers. She's going to keep it. You hold Stanford to 73, you're giving yourself a chance. Yep. There's free throw straight through. Their only loss coming into this one and was in non-conference against Kansas. They had a win against Baylor earlier in the non-conference play as well. Next weekend, they will play Oregon Oregon State and Oregon. I'll yeah. be on that Oregon. No, I will be on the Arizona State-Oregon game. Mm-hmm. I have no idea what day it is. <laughs> nope, it's a new year. I just oh keep my. saying new year, Mary. Tomorrow, I what day. maybe I'll know. <laughs> oh, great maybe. crowd here. Season highs in both rebounding and scoring for Fran Belibi. What a game she had. And she had to leave the court for a little bit. Got hit in the head. But she is back out and ready to go. Navarre. High Archer. Had a chance. The Wildcaps cut into the deficit here. I will look forward to that February 9th game yeah. when Stanford goes to Arizona. That's an ESPN game. Boy, and that's a ways away, but both of these teams will be in different places. That's going to be a good one at McHale. And that is going to do it for us. Stanford gets the win over Arizona.